Hi guys, this is Ishan. Welcome back to my channel. Find your style with me. Yes, yes. Today video is going to be little different. This is the first part of the Find Your Style series. I am going to essentially mix the shopping haul as well as the outfit inspiration for you guys. I got you guys covered with five different varieties of winter wear from AGO and ten different ways to style. The main idea behind this video is not just showing you the colors. It's about the different varieties of the winter wear you can pick and how to mix and match for this particular season. Also, do mind that the shoes and the lowers which I'm showing in the video are from different brands, and I will leave the links if possible in the description below. Without any further ado, let's get into this video. So, coming to the first piece, it is an olive green. Textures better with a rib neck, which I got it in a size of medium. Coming to the style number one, the style number one is all about the monochromatic look. I have paired the olive green sweater with the olive chinos of in macro fit from Jack and Jones. I got it in a size of 30 by 30. I have paired this with olive grey Chelsea suede leather boots, also from Jack and Jones. This look compares with the simple colors from the same color palette, but all together gives you a different look, and you can stand out from the rest of the crowd. Coming to the fit of the sweater, the sweater is fairly fit at the chest. I like the texture of it, and I like the fit at the chest as well as little room at the waist area, and the length of the arms is also perfect. The one thing which I do not like about this sweater is the overall length. The moment you raise your hands, the sweater goes up and exposes your waist area, which is not ideal for the sweater. If any one of you don't mind that, and if you want to use this sweater for the smart casual look, here goes the style number two. I have paired this sweater with the Zara black trousers, which is made of a technical fabric with the belt loops, and it is a crop trouser, so I embrace the crop trouser look of it. And I have gone with that, and I've tucked in the trouser to give that smart casual vibe, and have paired this with Ada Stan Smith white clean sneakers to add to that vibe. Overall, this look is a simple. And such a casual look, you can wear for the office or you can wear for a normal casual day. Coming to the second piece, let's start with the pullover. The first pullover for this video, I have paired this pullover with the same black trouser from Zara and uh, a color coordinated sneakers from Supra. So the sneakers are also matching the color with the sweater which makes your outfit stand and brings that attention to detail coming to the fit of the sweater overall i like the fit of this pullover better than all the pieces which i used for this video the arm length is perfect and overall length is perfect and fits fairly well at the chest and have enough room at the waist area and overall i like this outfit a lot now switching things up to the style number 4 I have picked a suit trouser from Jack and Jones from this season which is a grey knitted trouser overall it adds to the vibe of the winter wear not only it is a knitted sweater it is a knitted trouser as well the trouser is having a polka dots which you can't see from this far but it is having that particular vibe to it and adding to that is the white Stan Smith sneakers and overall it's a kind of a very smart casual look and the color combinations make it even more perfect with the contrast of the mustard with the gray and whites. If you guys are confident enough of carrying this look, do go for it. The third upper for this video is the gray color turtleneck slim fit pullover. Even though it's mentioned as a turtleneck slim fit, this fits mainly on the regular side. So please do bear in mind if you want to order this particular one. I did not like the fit of this. However, I like the color. And the second thing which I do not like about this particular turtleneck is that uh, the around the neck area, it is too tight. I have paired this turtleneck with the black jeans from H&M, which is slightly distressed at knee and uh, paired up with the white sneakers. This is altogether a simple look how to wear the turtlenecks. Turtlenecks are so versatile. Most of the people here, if you are like redundant on wearing the turtleneck, just give it a try and you guys will never regret it. Let's add a flannel and see how different your outfit looks all of a sudden. Coming to the style 6, not only you can use the turtlenecks as a casual outfit, you can switch things to a formal kind. So I have picked these trousers from H&M, a grey or a darkish grey check trousers. The checks are a kind of a subtle for this trouser and I have paired that with the high ankle black boots from United Colors of Benetton. This adds the completely formal or semi-formal kind of a look with the turtlenecks and that's why I am telling you guys that turtlenecks are so versatile. So for example, if you want this to 
tune it down to a casual kind of a look, just add a denim jacket. I have added a black denim jacket on top of that. You guys be the better judge of how it looks for you. The fourth piece from this video and my favorite of all due to the color combinations which they used for the sweater and this pullover is of a crew neck and slim fit in a three different color combinations which are mixed in the stripes. I have shown you guys with the two stripe alternatives for this video. Feel free to go for it whichever matches your style and not essentially in the same color. You can go and mix and match it with the color options which are available in the AGO. So this color combination I like a lot and the length with the sweater is a little long to my liking but overall i dig this look i have paired this sweater with a blue jean which is a simple yet classic way of uh, showing your style overall the fit of the sweater is perfect so the style number eight is all about uh, the style number one coming to the monochromatic or just mimicking the colors or following the same color palette i have chosen the olive green marco slim fit trousers from jack and jones in a size of 30 by 30 and paired up with the white sneakers which which gives you that super casual vibe this outfit is one of my favorite from this complete overall 10 styles because of how simple it is and how uber cool you can look in this outfit the fifth piece from this shopping haul from the AGO is the burgundy color hoodie in a cut and shoe style so here you can see the cuts if you see that closely I layered this hoodie on top of a white t-shirt and I'm playing with the colors. I like that uh, a combination of the white and maroon to be showing the white t-shirt and the hoodie is a little bit shorter which I can play with the colors and going with the same white color palette I have mixed to the white color palette with the white shoes and the blue jeans and this look is the complete kind of a street look. Coming to the fit of this hoodie, this hoodie fits relatively loose and it is a much more on the regular side even though it is mentioned as slim fit. The style number 10 is all about color coordination here for the light washed blue denim jeans i have gone with the same color light washed ripped denim over shirt from zara and uh, it all together changes the dimension of your outfit you look so different because you have color coordinated the white color of the t-shirt with the white color shoes and color coordinated jacket as well as and all together add the pop of that burgundy hoodie Hoodies always gel with the denim jackets and most of the guys they do not try for it. It altogether makes a simple look of your hoodie into a different classic look and a street kind of outfit vibe. Hope you guys get enough inspiration from all these 10 styles and this video took a long time in making to change these number of outfits and to show you guys 10 different styles to pair. Do let me know in the comments which outfit you like the most and which color combination you would prefer so that even I can make the videos and I can make the combinations in my future videos. Also do follow my Instagram page. Feel free to like this video and subscribe to the channel to not miss on these kind of content. That's it from me. See you guys next time.